Clutch Clay by The Salon Guy. Your new favourite? Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to a new review. Now this one is from Haircutter Extraordinaire, YouTube creator and all round nice guy, The Salon Guy. This is his new one called Clutch Clay. Matte styling clay, strong ply but hold with low shine. Amazing. Steven actually contacted me and said I want to send you one of these. Um, this is a viral product. I don't really know what a viral product is, but this is a viral product. Uh, it's got a lot of hype, although I've not had that many people ask me about it. I have had some comments, but I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna try it. I like Steven, I wanna give this a go and see if it's up to scratch. So Clutch Clay is the newest launch from the Salon Guy. What they officially say is, Clutch is a medium to strong hold that delivers low shine, pliable texture, and a very clean masculine fragrance. Now I should say that all of that makes it sound like the best product and definitely something that I'd want to be trying. So I had very high hopes. Now, looking at all these sort of aesthetics around this packaging, I'm I'm not hugely impressed by it. It looks fairly cheap in this little tin. It does actually look like it should be a candle. And it's got the sticker on the front with the Salon Guys logo, which you actually really can't see that well. It also sort of picks up dirt. And when it was posted to me, it's got really dented. So I'm not going wild for this. Do I want it sitting out in my bathroom for people to see? Probably not, so it will go to the back of the shelf. Also in aesthetics and smell, again, I'm never that bothered, but I love the scent of this. This smells so good. When I first smelled it, actually, I was like, this smells like Christmas. It's kind of spicy. I think it's got sort of a cinnamon hint and kick to it. It just smells like I kind of want to shut my eyes and get gifts under a Christmas tree. It's, it's so Christmas. But actually, the official line on this is that it smells like citrus and whiskey. But again, two of my favorite things. And looking at ingredients, we have got water at the top. It's a water-based product. We've then got petrolatum, synthetic wax, microcrystallina. Uh, various other sort of waxy things, and then kaolin. So kaolin is a type of clay. I actually really like kaolin-based products because kaolin tends to swell the hair. So for me, as a guy with fine hair, I, I like it because it gives me that instant sort of boost. Um, I would say though, in terms of the ingredients on this, water-based products I love. I just think they work better for me and my lifestyle. But there, there is a lot of wax on there. So to me, instantly when I read that, that made me sort of think how the product might work. And you'll see that actually in how I'm using it. So what I've done with this is, like I've done with previous reviews and overhyped, I've used the product as I would for a day, worked through these various different categories, also given you finish and hold, and then moved on to washability. So getting into the product, looking at consistency, this is one of the things I did notice about this. Consistency is fairly waxy. So it's fairly hard to touch at first, but then you've got this sort of waxy texture. So it feels, I think, more like a sort of cream wax, but you can see there that waxy sort of stickiness that you get from it, which does really suggest that it should have a strong hold. Talking application, I've already put a bit of a pre-styler in my hair. I do this for all my reviews. It just means that we've got a level playing field. I've got a Veda thickening tonic in. I just blasted it, got it set. Um, you can check out any of the old videos if you want to see me doing that. But application, I'm just going to smooth through the hair. It's fairly sort of tough because it has got that waxy sort of texture to it. But it's not sort of dragging too much. I'm going to put just a tiny bit more into that. Always brushing it down sort of against the way you're going to be going because as always I'm going to be pushing it up and over. For styling, just literally pushing it back. I have noticed that when I've been using this product, because again, because it is waxy, you are getting a sort of an instant hold which is allowing you to build in that style that you want, but you just need to really work, work it in. And what you will find with this product is that a little goes a long way when you're styling, so you, you don't need too much. If anything, I've maybe put a little bit too much into the back and it's kind of sticking up, but around the front and the sides, it is really, I would say really very responsive when styling and actually I can already feel that it's got a good hold. 
but we'll obviously see about that. If I finish, this is saying ply behold with low shine, and yeah, it does. It's got a low shine. It's got a the, the tiniest bit of shine, and I think, again, that is from that wax, but really, it is quite, I would say, matte in the way it looks. Um, and then, guys, what I'm going to do is, for hold, I'm going to go out all day with this. I have used this product before, so I know how it's going to go. But I'm going to go out without any hairspray, and I'm going to give you an update at the end of the day. Okay, so that is that is me just in. Um, it's been in my hair for eight hours. Um, let's have a look. It's actually not bad at all, I would say. I mean, this has got absolutely no hairspray in it. And it's kind of bouncing back. Um, let me just see if I can show you. We zoomed in. Let's zoom out. It's um, it's kind of held its own, and I would say absolutely true when they say they, being the salon guy, says it's strong but pliable. Like it's it is bouncing. I found myself this afternoon. I did a bit of work, and I went out to meet a friend, and kind of had one of those moments where you're in the toilets and you're looking at your hair, thinking it could be better and tighter and actually it is going back in. For me, I'm a, I'm a hairspray guy, like I would definitely be using hairspray, but it's not bad at all. Like I think that's pretty good going. It's not dried hard, because obviously it's got that wax components in it, and it's still able to be moved. Not bad at all. Well, it washed out really easily. I actually forgot I was in, I forgot what I was doing and I was in the shower and I was washing my hair and I thought, oh, I kind of forgot what product I had in it. Um, so yeah, that was just water, and although a sort of waxier consistency product, I don't really feel like there's anything left in the hair. So, great for washability. Price, I think, is where this product gets quite interesting. Now, on the Salon Guys website, it is $19.99 for a 3.5 ounce. Uh, domestic, so US shipping, $5.99, making it a total of $25.98. If you can afford that, Go wild. Shipping from the Salon Guys site to the UK, shipping there is $24.99, more expensive than the product, making it $48.98, which is £35, pricey. But they do have a distributor in Europe, Mocha, which again I've linked, and Stephen actually told me about this. The product is €21.95, postage packaging $7.50, tax $5.11, making it a total of €29.45, £26. Um, that, for me, is, I mean, I can and do spend on slightly more expensive products, like Patrick's M3, I love, um, but this, for like 26 pounds all in, I'm a bit torn. I'm not sure I would go for it. I mean, I'm kind of saying this, I'm thinking, would I? Um, I, I just think, for a clay, there's other products that I would go for first. Arcadian, I love. Uh, Apothecary 87 pro product I absolutely love. That's slightly waxy in its texture too. Um, maybe even Claymation. Controversial. Maybe even Claymation. Brand battle. Perhaps. But um, I think, moving into Verdict, I, th I think this all comes down to what you want in a product. For me, this is a cream wax hybrid. Sorry, cream wax clay sort of hybrid. I, I think it's got a lot of properties of a wax which I like in it. I like how it styles so easily. I like that it doesn't go hard, even though it's a water-based product. I like the hold of it. I think that is amazing. I'm so impressed with the hold, and I love the smell. I think there's so much in this product that actually really sort of surprised me, pleasantly surprised me. So this will come down to you as an individual. As an individual. If you've got the money and you want to try it, go for it. But I, I do, I think this is a solid launch from the Salon guys, so I would say, well done Stephen, it's, it's a really good product and I'm excited to see sort of more products you bring out. But there you go, thank you very much for watching, I really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have and you've not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do press subscribe, it's up there. Also more video suggestions down there and a link to my blog with my newsletter sign up which will have all the information about Brand Battle right there. Oh, podcast, Instagram, all up there. But I'll see you in the next new video. Bye-bye.